Let's talk about profiles in GoXLR. It's actually something that people stumble a little bit with when they first get the product. The biggest caveat we have here is always, always, always save your profile whenever you do something cool. Something cool means manipulating almost anything in the product with a couple of exceptions that are global. So let's talk about the global stuff first. When you've gone into the system tab and you've done your mic setup, you've set the gain for your mic or you've chosen whether or not you have a condenser mic that requires phantom power or not, that's a global setting and isn't affected or saved by the profiles. It's just saved in the background of the app and loads every time the app loads. Same goes for anything on your mic tab here. The goal is that you make your mic sound awesome and then you don't actually have to touch the stuff again. You just know your mic will sound awesome no matter which profile you're in. Things that are saved within your profile are the mixer settings. So the levels of where the mixer is set, where I'm moving them up and down with the fader here, those get saved, okay? Your mute modes. So when I mute my microphone, it's gonna mute just to my stream, right? So it's gonna not go to my broadcast stream mix, but it's gonna go everywhere else. That's saved in the profile, along with which channels, one, two, three, or four, have which sources applied to them. So this is the, what do I wanna control with the physical sliders on the device? So I've got chat on my channel three here, so you can see voice chat is on channel three, right? But I don't have a control set up for console, so I'd have to use the slider here to control my console volume, which is the optical in on the back. All of those settings are saved per profile. Then we've got samples and presets. Now they're saved to the profile, but also to your library. And it's allowed you to have access to particular samples or particular presets for your voice effects, but not necessarily have to tie them to a profile. So the, what I mean about that is that, let's go to preset three here. I'm just gonna call it up. It's called huge verb. Okay, so let's, let's turn huge verb into a huge echo and then save it. So if I wanna just make huge verb smaller, like this and I don't actually want to call it anything different or anything like that but in this profile I just want to have less echo so or less reverb so I got just a little bit of reverb here if I save the profile okay I change to another one, another one. I've got this crazy, crazy, thing. crazy thing okay and I go back now we've got this low amount of echo here okay so that wasn't actually the sound of huge verb that was saved in my preset library I've modified what it is within the profile I still have a preset that I've saved in here called Huge Verb, and it has different settings. Those are the settings I initially started with. If I drag it in, it's gonna replace it and the verb will go way up. Here we go. Now I've got a huge reverb. So what this allows you to do is to rename and save presets. So you mess with all the knobs, you know, you do a bunch of settings, you fire open these big windows that have all these crazy controls in there, and you come up with a really cool sound you like, and you happen to be on number three Huge Verb here, and you go, well, I don't wanna overwrite Huge Verb, you can either choose to save it in your profile just right then and the only thing it'll be saved in is that profile or you could right click it here and say save to library so often you might rename it so what we'll do is we'll turn huge verb i'll turn down the reverb here and i'll turn on a giant echo now i have a giant echo okay now i go rename and i go huge echo enter now it's called huge echo Okay. And I can go save to library and you will see that huge echo now shows up in my library. I can drag that particular preset to any one of these buttons in any profile. And then I would still have to save the profile to say those presets that I've dropped in here, I want them to load every time this profile loads. It's exactly the same for your sampler. So we're going to give an example here. Okay. Every time you record in the sampler, it will keep that recording. I'm gonna clear out the first button of the sampler and I'm gonna make a sample right now. And I'm gonna make a sample right now. I'm even gonna trim it because it didn't quite sound as sexy as I wanted. And I'm gonna make a sample and I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm gonna make a sample right now. There we go, that's better. Now what that's done is it's actually recorded automatically to the very bottom of your recorded folder. Okay, you can see right here, I have that sample. So if I were to clear this off, there's nothing in there. I still know that I have that sample automatically saved. All right, I still have to trim it again. And I'm gonna make a sample right now right into my sampler but that's not saved to this profile yet because i haven't hit save so if i hit save and then i go to another profile and i come back lo and behold that sample is still and i'm going to make a sample right now on that button conversely if you've made samples that you like um, so I made one earlier here. Uh, you can rename those samples from within the folder. So you click the little folder here and you'd find in your recorded samples here, you'd find the one right here. And I'd go, you know, rename it to like, Craig being weird. 
Okay, and now, in my recorded samples, I'll actually drag this out. I'm gonna, gonna actually cut this. I'm gonna control X on that sample. I'm gonna go back to samples, and I'm actually gonna paste it right in there. And now you can see, look, it shows up right here. Okay, so now I have a sample of me being weird, whatever that is. And I'm gonna make a sample right now on the second sample button. So we're gonna look at top right. There's nothing in there. I can drag in Craig being weird. It's gonna polish it and any samples that I make into the sampler. Okay, so that shows me that in my library exists this sample that does that sound. But if I haven't saved the profile and I go away and I come back, now that sample is still here clearly in my library. But on that top right button, no sample because I never saved it. So I'll have to go down here, drag it in, okay? Then go to the profile, save the profile, and now it's all been saved. So everything within the box beyond those mic settings and the, the uh, including the routing tab. Okay, so anything on the routing tab here changes depending on how you have it set up. So you can see this. I can add a bunch of things in here. I can save this profile. Okay, and I can go back to a different one. You see all of those change. That's so that like maybe one time you're using your line out for a console and the other time you're wanting your broadcast cast stream mix not to have music in it or whatever you want to do. You can set up profiles for the type of game you're playing, for the stream you're doing at the time, for a podcast you're on sometimes. Anything is possible and the routing obviously is a part of how that all works. So we want to make sure that that's a part of what gets saved in the profile. So as long as you remember that absolutely everything in here is getting saved beyond those mic effects, you'll remember to save before you exit so you don't end up feeling like you did a whole bunch of work, you bailed out of the app, and then you came back and nothing was the same. Hope that helps everybody to understand profiles.